Well, tonight, a meeting is in the works between the Syracuse Chief of Police and Destiny USA Management. Now that News Channel 9 has learned gang members are to blame for the fight and shooting that sent Black Friday shoppers running in fear. Leaders of both the mall and the police department are proud of how they dealt with the shooting Friday. But News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains what more can be done. Along with Black Friday shoppers at Destiny USA, known gang members who, instead of looking for deals, were looking for a fight. Do you foresee the SPD team sitting down with Destiny USA to assess what went well and what went wrong? Um, I don't want to speak for the upper management right now, but I do believe something like that's going to be in the works. Likely to come up, the idea of installing a police substation inside the mall. The even bigger Mall of America in Minnesota has two substations for Bloomington police. Syracuse's previous police chief was asked about it last year after two stabbings at the mall within a week. We don't have the manpower for that. Uh, we don't have the funding for it. If the funding becomes available for it, that is absolutely something that I would, I would uh, explore, an option that I would explore. But as everything, it, it becomes a dollars and cents. Metal detectors is probably a little extreme, expensive, time consuming, and it doesn't really. Uh, it's not really consistent with a, a good shopping experience. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, people that are there for no other reason than to feud with each other, Destiny, as I say, has a right to admit them or deny them entrance or to come up with some sort of alternative uh, stop, question, and frisk method. The district attorney claims he takes every shooting in Onondaga County seriously, but because of Destiny USA's importance to the community and its impact on tax revenue, he knows the gang activity here needs to stop. What do you say to people who are scared to go to Destiny USA? Well, I agree with the chief. Don't let a couple of knuckleheads ruin your holidays. Uh, your chances of uh, you know being shot or stabbed there are infinitesimal. But some still won't take that chance. At Destiny USA, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Destiny USA managers have not responded to our email sent over the weekend. But on Saturday, at a news conference with police, the general manager said he would put in place anything that could have prevented the shooting. And 21-year-old Tyree Truax is charged with assault, reckless endangerment, and having an illegal gun. Police say more arrests or charges could come as city detectives review footage from several cameras inside the Destiny Mall.